And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, you can see this severe thunderstorm watch in the pink to our southwest and the rain and storms here and the severe thunderstorm and yes, even some tornado warnings around St. Louis. There is the low, which is strengthening now Two cold fronts that will bring cooler air in and eventually some frost. And there's the warm front. That's key because it's much warmer and more unstable down here with temperatures as high as the mid 80s, dew points into the upper 60s. Warm front will keep working a little farther northward. And with the warm front moving a little farther northward and us getting a little warmer and a little bit more unstable this evening, slight risk for severe weather. Can't rule out a couple or a few severe gusts or a little bit of hail mixed up in this. Generally between 7 and 11 p.m. as a little line of storms forms and sweeps through. Now certainly it's more unstable, warmer, and there's better tornado risk down here in that tan or orange-ish color. That would be the enhanced risk. So we're generally in a 2 out of 5 for severe. Down there, it's a 3 out of 5. And then once that goes through, a couple showers around midnight, then just windy and cooler. We drop down to 45. Wind chills in the 30s early tomorrow morning with a stiff northwest wind blowing and 41 to 47 for low temperatures. Tomorrow is a general partly cloudy day, but a windy one and a high of 57 with 54 to 59 doing it for highs area wide. Saturday's cool as well, partly cloudy to mostly sunny, still uh, breezy to windy, but highs only in the mid 50s after 37 in the morning. No frost issues though Saturday morning. 52 up at Winnemac to 55 Frankfurt and a high about 56 at Pine Village. So there is nine o'clock this evening. There are the storms right near the state line and there they are barreling through moving pretty rapidly off to the east and then once we get to midnight they're already out of here and just a few showers lingering then they jet out and then you can see the partly cloudy skies for tomorrow and into tomorrow night and even saturday generally a partly cloudy sky evolving for the afternoon now i think our best chance of getting frost though is likely going to be sunday night because look at the skies clearing and look how the arrows are moving slower on Sunday, so the winds will be diminishing. That's our best shot at getting some frost. Again, that would be Sunday night, early Monday morning. But in terms of rainfall, I think anywhere from a third of an inch to more than seven tenths of an inch. So this is going to soak things a little bit, but this is a pretty rapidly moving line, but enough to kind of muddy that soil down here. And then we watch this system that may bring a couple showers around about Tuesday, but it's a clipper system, not a lot of moisture to work with. And after this, we may see a little more patchy frost by mid next week and then much warmer the following weekend. So let's break all of that down. 56 on Sunday, 32 on Monday morning, a couple showers on Tuesday. There's that patchy frost possible with 36 on Thursday morning after a couple showers on Tuesday of next week. And then we're back to the 80s with storms coming back in by next weekend.